So, picking up where we left off last time, Aruni, um, we've done a whole bunch of lines for the armor that you get in the Saints and Seducers patch. We've done quest interactions for the Saints and Seducers patch. Uh, but before we do anything, I need to remember, because I was working on Lucian earlier in the day, I need to... Ugh, I need to change the script prefix back to 14. So we don't get confused. What can I say except you're welcome? Don't really know the rest of that song. Mostly I just know it from the meme. Because I've never seen the film. Joseph the Greater? What, the cheese grater? Bard redeemed emote only chat. Folks, show me your best emotes. Sorry, Victor, that's not planned. You have five minutes of emoting. Ten points for whoever can make the best scene with their emotes. Hi, Dol Vader. Welcome to the stream. Ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, da -da 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 I don't know what these points are, by the way, then, I'm promising. Ten points. Nebulous ten points. You can redeem them for... Awesomeness? Just general, you can just use have them as a badge of honour? Oh, I like Endify's lizard... thing. Oh, and a singular bee has a squid that's on fire. They're very Cthulhu-esque, I like that. <gasps> Legendary Phoenix has a sort of corgi squid, an interesting kind of abomination. Caesar is hitting Lucian with a hammer. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Like Bard's Bowser business we've got going on there. Watcher has a very lengthy squid. Lots of squids going on. Tayson shooting fireballs. At something. This seems dangerous, but impressive. Most impressive. Uh, anyway, right, how far did I get through this? Let's see if I can load up UESP and we can see what's going on. A squid holding a hearthstone mug. Well, that's fun. Oh, those are very cute ones, Armiter. Woo! Now, did we do Amber, Dark, Golden, and Madness? I think we did. We did, and we carried on down. Uh, where were we? We were under Hello. Hello! And then the hammer, and then the sword of Gigalag. So, next thing to do would be the Madness Helmet of Recovery and Stardust Helmet. We could do comments on both of those. Don't let the creeper blow up Lucian, Caesar. That would be very bad. Butane has squished a sad Lucian. Oh no. Don't squish him. He'd be sad. So the Madness Helmet of Recovery is a unique Madness Helmet worn by Thoron. So Lucian could talk about this as being, um, you know, the fact that it used to be Thoron's. So we could do that as another hello. <laughs> Who are you shushing, Armata? You shushing me? Shh. Hush. I'm I'm seeing a distressing number of uh, animals eating Lucian in the chat here. I'm really not sure I'm comfortable with with his destruction. <laughs> That'll have me out of a career. <laughs> oh, I like the Lucian with fiery hands, though, Game of Victor. That's cool. You have a mage, Lucian. 
So I don't need that. And I want Get Equipped on the player. And I want specifically Thoron's Magic Helmet, which I'll have to find out what the code is for that in SSC Edit. So let's load that up. Load me up. Uh, and what was this called? What was it called? Was it Ad Adverb Gob? No, that was Goblins, isn't it? Adverb Gobs. Uh, Adverb Jiggards. This is it. <gasps> oh, I just got a Pikachu. That's very cute. Bard has Bowser taking out Lucian. Sad times indeed. Lots of various pride flags. Very nice. Oh, it's Trinket the Bear. I've still never seen Critical Role, but I love this emote that Nuna has. It's very cute. And the bees saying hello. They're cute as well. Okay, that is the emote only chat finished. So who won? Who am I arbitrarily going to give these arbitrary points that don't really count for anything to? I'm going to give them your arbitrary points can go to... Hmm. I think my favourite, I think the one that's most effective here, that works the best, is from Game of Victor. Game of Victor's Lucian with burning hands on either side. I think that works particularly well and it really fits with his face in the emote. So congratulations, Game of Victor. You can have 10 arbitrary points of no value. Thanks for the sub, Wolf Scribbles. Really appreciate it. Hey, Miss Torbs. I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you doing? See ya, Caesar 79. Wow, that was difficult to say. See ya, Caesar. Is that what Brutus said? See ya, Caesar. Oh, well, that's nice. I'm glad you think the channel's fun. I try and provide some mild entertainment. I don't know how, whether I always succeed, but I try. I can't promise for it to be particularly uh, intellectually stimulating, but uh, I provide you with nonsense. Are you not entertained? Anyway, Madness Helmet of Recovery here is Armor Madness Helmet Magicka Rate 06. Very catchy name that'll stick in everyone's memory. Oh, it just occurs to me. I haven't yet pinged the Discord. I am very useless. Let me uh, unleash the ping. Bum, 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 Did it. Hey, Brick Rick. Welcome. There is a bot for that, but I like having my own personalised stream pings that are different for each stream. Because I can actually say something about what the content is. I could bot it. I don't know. I think it's better if I just remember to do the ping. <laughs> anyway, right. So we have this helmet. Armor Madness Helmet Magicka whatever. Right, so uh, get equipped. C C B G. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Armor Madness Helmet Magicka Rate 06. Aww. He does look cute, doesn't he? Whee. Right, get equipped is that. Da, 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 da. Checking the player, and now we can say what should we say about that. Glad to see that helmet being put 
to better use than Thoron. Uh, than Thoron uh, could manage. Hope it's comfortable. An invention for me. It's called the post-it note. You can write a little list of things what need doing when starting a stream. Tiny these can ping it to stick it to your monitor and then totally fail to ever register it again. I think that's exactly what would happen, yes. <laughs> it's a good idea. I'll consider it and probably not actually ever uh, implement it. Hello, I'm not salty. Welcome to the stream. Do you think I look like Lucy? I don't think I really look like him. He has much better facial hair than I do and his hair's much longer and he doesn't wear glasses because they ain't been invented yet. But I am blonde and naturally we have the same voice. So there's that. You know, if Netflix ever, ever decide to commission a live action Skyrim series, um... You know, they could, uh, could totally cast me if they wanted to. Just, just saying, any Netflix execs out there, hit me up, call me. You know, I'm available for work. <laughs> uh, right. Can't see a thing wearing this. I don't know how Thoron managed. Should Lucian wear them? Well, why would Lucian wear goggles? What What is this going to do for him? What practical purpose are these going to serve, apart from looking steampunk? Which is a very good purpose, but like... But, but why? Why does he need this? Now... I feel like maybe I should condition this... on the Saints and Seducers, on the stages of this questline. So that it'll only uh, trigger... If, so he'll only say this line if he was around for the whole Thoron debacle. So I think I might do a couple of get stages or get stage to get stage done checks and awe them in order to make sure that uh, that he was around for some of this. Uh, so, we want 140, 150, or 160, or, no, 140, 150, 160, or 170. Get stage done. Nope, come on, get stage done. J.R. Lucian, C.C. Saints and Seducers, 140 equals 1, or 150 equals 1, or 160. So these, this is checking that Lucian said one of his lines vaguely to do with the whole Thoron uh, situation before, which will mean he was with the player when this happens, so that if you just recruit him when you've already done all this, and you happen to wear that helmet, he won't recognise it as belonging to Thoron, because he'll never have met Thoron. If that makes sense. This should just make it a little bit more immersive. Anyway, uh... To keep the grease out of his eyes while he's tinkering with automatons and Doomsday could make sense. Um... Funky to wear my glasses when the reason finds him licking the engine to identify it. Maybe? Yeah, that could work. Do I have any tips for amateur voice actors looking to make a follower mod? Well, yeah, if you check out my uh, How to Make a Follower Mod tutorial series, 
that's currently on hiatus, as Nuna's just said. They've just linked it in the chat. Thank you, Nuna, MVP. Um, but it is in the chat there. If you check out that, that should take you through the first steps of making a follower mod. And uh, there's an episode there where I talk a bit about voice acting and recording. Um, best tip with it is to just do it. Don't let yourself get stressed out about it. Um, and uh, get yourself a decent microphone because that matters. You can't, you, you fundamentally need a good quality microphone to be able to voice act for a mod. Otherwise, no one's going to like it. Um, and uh, try really hard not to sound like you're just reading out the words. You know, you need to... You need uh, you need to act it, <laughs> which sounds obvious. But the the trick that I I have used is to rather than just read out the words in front of me, take the words in front of me as a general sort of cue. Like someone said to you, "Oh, can you just tell your friend over there uh, this information, which is your script?" And then if you imagine your friend just behind the camera, and you tell them what you just read in the script to let them know. That often helps, I find. Often helps get away from that, monot that monotonous kind of Hello there, my name is Lucian Flavius sort of voice that people tend to do when they're reading. If that makes sense. But do check out that tutorial series because that should give you the info that you need. Ni problemo, as maybe someone says. Uh, okay, that's done, that's done, and that's, so there we go, that's Thoron's helmet done, we only really need one line for him wearing it, and one line for the player wearing it, don't need to go in much more detail than that, I don't think. Um, but yes, sorry, as I was saying earlier, it's going to be a slightly shorter stream today because I want to go and carry on working on the main mod to get it done as soon as possible to get it actually out there and released, because it's taking ages, uh, and has been massively delayed from my original aim of having it out, well, it was supposed to be out in November, wasn't it, and then I pushed it back to Christmas, and then I've just pushed it back to soon TM, but, you know, working on it. Right, Starder's helmet. Starder. How are we going to say Starder? How do we pronounce that? Starter? Do you think it's Starter? I think Starter. 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 Everyone agree that that sounds alright? It's never said out loud because no one says this name. Uh, because the Creation Club doesn't have voice acting. But I like, like that. I could say Stader. But Stardar. Starter, darling. Oh, Starter, pass me the Mars bar, Starter, darling. How many mods have I made? Uh, uh, Lucian is is probably the the only what I would consider to be like full proper independent mod that I've made. I've collaborated on other mods. I did a couple of collaborations with um, uh, Mikhail mods on his quest mods, and I did some and I've been collaborating with Jay Crodgemal on Dark End. Um, and I've done an awful lot of typo patches and unofficial patches and fixes for other mods. Um, and for the Creation Club, but Lucian is my only sort of standalone mod that I have, that I would say I have made. Is there a way to fight off the fear that the follower won't be well received? Some mantras, for instance. Uh, no, just do it. Willpower, override and overrule. That's all I can give you, really. That's what I do. You're aware of the fear, but but ignore it. Sorry, that's probably not very helpful. But um, I always just sort of push through these things. Because otherwise you can never get anything done. Right, starter it is, we all agree. Like starter, but in Boston. Starter. That's not Boston, I don't know what accent that is. It's sort of from somewhere in the U.S. But with a little bit of 1960s radio announcer. Coming up next. Exactly. If you like your follower, there's bound to be other people that will like it. I'll be honest. They'll like, they'll like anything. You know, someone, no matter what you release, someone out there will love it. Like, as long as you put effort into it. Someone will think it's great. But hopefully lots of people. What am I doing? Indeed, what am I doing? Just in life, really. What is Joseph doing? I often ask myself this. I say, what is Joseph doing? And Joseph says, uh, whatever. His best. His best is the answer. 
Uh. Of course, Lucian probably wouldn't know she's called Starda. There's a thought. Why would he know that? She never says her name. Is it written down anywhere? I don't think so. I think she only writes down S, doesn't she? I mean, we can assume that if you summon her, if she becomes summonable and sort of joins the party, we can assume that he's, she's told him at some point. But we don't know that. That's a nice looking helmet. Hope it was worth the trade. Do da 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 do 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 chaka chaka cha do da 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 do da da. So that's armor starter helmet. Armor. Oh, no, 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 no. CCBG. Stands for carrot. Mm, carrot. Cost efficient. Banana grass. Stylish. CCBGS. Trust me, I know these things. I'm an engineer. Uh, oh no, it's Armor Starter, wasn't it? I'm a fool! Armor... Armor Starter Helmet. Did it. It's fine, nobody panic. Nobody panic. Okay, so the player has that equipped. And we have the random flag. And, uh, yep, that's looking good. And then we'll have one for Lucian. I feel like this thing suited. No. Hmm. What does a Golden Saint helmet look like? It's sort of winged. It's a bit Thor-esque. Park the car in Harvard Yard. Pack the coal on whole world yard. I don't think that made me sound, Boston. <laughs> but I tried. <laughs> a song about snow. Well, this is a good question. What songs are there about snow that aren't Christmas songs? I don't think I know any songs about snow that aren't Christmas songs. So we find ourselves in a bit of a pickle, trying to answer, trying to fulfill that request. Make one up. I mean, I can make one up if you want. No, Winter Wonderland's definitely a Christmas song. Oh, down in Texas, there is a lot of snow. I can tell you that because I've watched the news and it's true my name is Joe. We had some snow here a couple of weeks ago. I went for a walk in it. It was rather cold and in my boots went a little bit and that made my socks damp and no one likes damp socks because that's rather uncomfortable. It's like your feet are full of rocks, except they're wet and cold instead of ouchy, but you know, you get the general gist. Oh, the snow falls in Texas and it falls up the road. Uh, it's, it's rather light and white and bright and just a little bit cold. Cold doesn't rhyme with road, but you know, I'm trying to do my best. Singing a song about snow without practicing is really quite a test. 
Um... I don't know what I'm looking for on this page here. I'm thinking about trying to make up a song about snow now. Um, that was magnificent, says Bard. And I hope that it's true. Because I made this song up from my brain to sing to you. Yeah. Thank you for the bits, Bard. Hope you liked it. I just can't think of anything for Lucian to say about this helmet, really, when he's wearing it. Because it's just a generic... Same as the gold, ordinary Golden Saints helmet, except it did belong to Starda. What happens when you, you get the helmet? How does Starda's quest go? You give it to her and she disappears. And you can use the amber to learn a permanent summon spell at the Atronarch Forge. Sorry, I don't know any Florence the Machine songs. Check, I don't think. Hey, Ice Juliet. The first song I think about. The first song I think about. Once in every stream, there comes a song like this. It starts off soft and low. I was gonna say and ends up with a kiss because that's how it goes in the song I'm spoofing here, but that, that that doesn't normally happen in the streams either. But oh, where is the song that goes like this? A sentimental song that casts a magic spell. You'll all hum along, I'll overact like hell, singing my song. That goes like this. I'm feeling very proud. But I'm singing far too loud. It's the way that this song goes. Grace standing on my toes. Singing my song. That goes like this. Key change. Now we're into E. That's awfully high for me. But everyone can see. I should have stayed in D. Singing my song that goes like this. I can't really remember the rest of it. It's from Spam a lot. Look it up if you like. It's very funny. supposed to be a duet. Right, I'm gonna say that. I feel like this, oh, this helmet. This helmet suited that golden lady a lot better than it does me. And then I want to say Lucian has it equipped and I need to check that Lucian was present for the starter scene. Uh, no, hang on. Subject. Lucian the Great doesn't care of the eight. His journey is straight. He got marvelous traits. Show spell he can recreate. Asking he can translate. That's pretty good, mate. Okay, and now I want to do a get stage done check again. To make sure... Oh, posture check. Thank you, Yami. To make sure that Lucian was present for the relevant scene with Starda. So if he said, well, she seemed nice, then we're good to go. So that is stage 200. So get the stage done 200. Oh, that's nice, Shadow Wolf. Thank you. Thank you. 
since it's stage 200, has to be equal to 1. Done! Lovely jubbly. Wunderbar! Das ist toll! Super cool! Aww. Yay for kitties falling asleep. Grey's gone to sleep too. She's on my bed behind me. Oh, where, 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 where is my song that goes like this? Arcane Blacksmith's Apron. Can you wear this? Is this acquirable, the Arcane Blacksmith's Apron? Worn by Evithra. She wears the unique Arcane Blacksmith's Apron. Everyone is taking a nap, Gamer. Well, obviously, you're all really paying attention to me, aren't you? <laughs> oh, dear. I'm glad I'm so engaging. <laughs> An apron with a hood. Very practical. If you need to do any smithing in the rain. Armitage awake. Hooray. Basically, when I do these patches, cause, cause, because my long-term goal is to have Lucian comment on everything in Skyrim, which is never going to happen because I'll never actually get there because there are like a billion things to comment in Skyrim. But my general long-term goal is to have him comment on everything. So when I do these interaction patches, which are self-contained, I try and comment on absolutely everything within that interaction patch so that then I can just tick it off and know I will never need to revisit the interaction patch again. That bit is just done. So I go into a lot of detail and I often comment on everything in the patch. So here I'm trying to do every unique piece of item. Every piece of item? Piece of armor. Every unique item or piece of armor in the mod. Um which is more detailed than I necessarily go in the main file. But yeah, as I say, that's to, that's to prevent me ever having to come back to this mod again to complete it, as it were. I like to just know it's all done. Clothes Blacksmith. Oh, and I was checking that the player has that equipped. Yes, they do. Good. And we're going to save there. It does add a lot of items, but we're working through the list. Oh. So we've done, we've done all these quests. We've done all these items down to here. So we need to do this and some of these unique new ingredients, although a lot of the new ingredients in Saints and Seducers actually come from the Rare Curios mod, which we'll do in a different time, so I won't be doing those. Um, but we need to do the ingredients. Um, probably not going to worry about the scrolls because Lucian's not going to be fussed about summoning Daedra. Uh, the Mystic Venom and the Soul Tomato can do stuff about that. We'll ignore the keys. Bugs in Jars, lovely. We could do stuff about the uh, Sheogorath shaped Amber. Probably ignore the books. Or we could have him read the blessings of Sheogorath. I could add that to his readable books list. Although I've never done a modded book added to the readable list. I'm not sure about the practical implementation of that. That might be tricky. Because I need to do it in such a way that won't conflict when I do other mods that also add books to it. I'll have to think about that one. We won't get to that today anyway. Uh, thank you for the follow, Johnny Guitar 92 Hey, Craving the Craze, what we're working on today is Saints and Seducers interaction patch for Lucian. So yeah, we could we could maybe do some of these books. I'll have to look into that. Um, we won't do the notes. He won't be able to learn these spell tomes because they're all Daedra summoning and Lucian doesn't summon Daedra. 
but then we'll want some unique taunts for these enemies and maybe some further comments on the solitude sewers and then we're done um so yeah Oh, and maybe we might want to do the rot scale, the screaming more, and the thorn hook, actually. If they're only available through this plugin. Oh, but of course, because it's added to the main game, you could get it from mods. Um, and we'd still want to be able to comment on it then, so maybe I should put the comments on this in the main game. Hey, Flashwing8, welcome to the stream. Yes, people often do say it's surreal, Johnny Guitar. Uh, if it makes it less for surreal for you, I can speak in a Scottish accent for the duration of the stream. Och, I don't know. Right, let's open up the creation kit. That sort of went Yorkshire there. Sort of. Does that not make it less surreal for you? <laughs> right, now what would Lucian say when wearing this? Look at me, I'm a magic blacksmith. I mean, I don't know what... Pfft. That's not really a line, that's not writing, that's just me trying to think of anything to say. Um... Yeah. I'm lacking inspiration for this. <laughs> I'll check it out later, Bard. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, I'm trying to make it. It's got to be unique to this blacksmith apron, right? So I will add lines in the future for Skyrim's vanilla blacksmith aprons. But what we have here is a special magic blacksmith apron that comes with a hood. So I'm trying to give something unique for Lucian to say about this blacksmith apron. So the magic blacksmith thing sort of works if I can do something with that. Hi again, Victor. Look at me, I'm a magic blacksmith. I'll pull a rabbit out of an iron helmet. I can pull a rabbit out of an iron helmet, but only if the helmet is very big and the rabbit is very small. Hey, Blackbird! <laughs> but only if the rabbit is very small and also compliant. There we go. Right. Subject. Done. Line done. Good. Sorted. Next one. What's next on the list? Ah, the Ring of Disrobing. Splendid. 
I'm sure we can think of something suitably silly to say about this, even if it's just, haha, this ring makes you naked. Um, but it does, basically. That's what this is. So... <laughs> Only four days! You need to up your game, Victor. Was it fun making Lucian? You say, was it, as if, I'm if I've finished making him? I haven't, I'm still working on him. And yes, it's fun. It's hard work sometimes, but it's fun. Modding's fun, I wouldn't do it if it wasn't fun. Hey, Caesar79, I don't know when you left, so I can't tell you what you missed. People always ask this, as though I keep track of when people log out of the stream. I don't know. I mean, fair enough, Blackbird. Hey, Miss Blue Gamings, welcome to the stream. Oh, well, this is DLC for Skyrim Special Edition. Is what we're working on right now. And I don't see, don't think it would be, if your game can run Skyrim Special Edition, there's no reason it wouldn't be able to run, you know, this mod. It doesn't, it doesn't add anything to, um, shouldn't have any impact on performance. Right, so this is going to be Lucian. Nope, absolutely not. This ring is not for me. Thank you very much. Right, and now I want player. Oh, I need to add, I need to go, where are we? I'm going compile and I'll make him give it back. properties uh and this is going to be armor or is there a separate one for clothing no there isn't armor and it's going to be ring i'll just call it ring and we're gonna go edit cc Clothes, ring of disrobing. Right. AK speaker dot remove item ring game dot get player dot add item ring. Should work? Yeah, we're good. Are there any mods I'd recommend for SE? Yeah, so there's this mod, this follower mod called Lucian Flavius. Um, that is, that it's quite, it's quite, uh, I don't know, I've heard, I've heard things about it. You know, I, I think it just might be worth checking out. Um, maybe, I don't know. Uh, so you might want to, you might want to just check that out in case it's any good. It's probably rubbish, but you know, you might, might want to download it. Um, so there's that. Uh, also Inigo, definitely recommend Inigo. Inigo is a wonderful mod. Uh, and if you've not tried it, you should definitely try it. Um, basically, all the ones, if you if you have Skyrim LE, all your favourite mods from that, they're all on SE. Um, most mods tend to be available on both. Legacy of the Dragonborn, Beyond Skyrim Bruma. Hey, Simply Curious 2, welcome to the stream. 
No, his name is not Lucene. You're never going to forgive me for that typo, are you? That's just going to become a thing now. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the reset time on this. Why does his last name change too? That's a good point. Why does it change? <laughs> There's no reason for his surname to change too. That's not how names work. Uh, okay. Ring of disrobing is on the subject and removes the item from him and gives it to the player. So it works. Right. Right, so now we're on to these items you can carry. Why am I making Lucian comment on these? I don't really know, but I might give him something to say if he has a bliss bug thorax. Go on, what's a bliss bug then? Little firefly things. Right. Oh no, I'm copying the script. That was foolish. Hey Morgan, welcome to the stream. Do do do. I don't need the script, so just remove it. I don't need it. No, we don't need that either. Just remove the script. Get rid of all the code, so we can delete it. Do 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 do. Chicka cha. Remove. Right. Okay. Bliss bugs. Uh, no, are we capitalizing bliss bug? We are capitalizing bliss bug. Yes. Oh, fascinating. I wonder if studying the thorax will reveal the source of their bioluminescence. Perhaps magical in nature. I wonder. No. Hmm. There we go. That's good. I think Kaiden with a female Lucian would have exactly the same conversations that he did with a male Lucian, to be honest. I don't think his gender really comes into the discussions at any point. This is going to be a happy little Lucian here, thinking about science hydrate and positive jack certainly will thank you that would be a very niche reference jack is lucian at all questware with the dawn guard dlc so if you go on my website which is joseph russell uh just google joseph russell and it'll come up if you go to the Lucian section, you'll find there's a whole bunch of articles about Lucian there, and one of them is a list of all the quests that he comments on. So if you have a look at that list, that will automatically answer any of your does Lucian comment on X questions, because it's all there. And that will tell you, no, he doesn't have Dawnguard interactions yet. It is the next major quest line I would like to add interactions for, uh, maybe in version 1.7.0 or something like that, but it's not, um, uh, it's not going to be there in the next update.
Now, what do we think Bliss Bug Thorax is going to be under? Ingredient. Bliss Bug. CC. Bliss Bug. Oh, the Bliss Bug. And this one does, of course, need its 24-hour reset to make sure it doesn't repeat more than once every 24 hours. If I can answer this in a non-spoilery, what is 1.6.0 about? Okay, yeah, sure. No, it's a general dialogue expansion. So, uh, it's a massive expansion of Lucian's stuff to say about the world. You know, so it's not, haven't done quests, but we added, if you look back through some of the earlier streams, all the VODs are on my YouTube channel, you can see us adding a lot of the stuff. So he's got a load of taunts for uh, enemies, you know, a bunch of stuff to say about different enemy races, who he's up against, lots of puns in there. He'll now comment on furniture you're interacting with like his um like enchanting or working on a forge or anything like that um there's more stuff for different kinds of dungeon he's got more books to read so he could read you five books before i think we've increased that to 10 or 11 now um he'll be able to sing on demand so you can say make me you can say uh, sing for me under his do something for me thing and he'll sing you any of the vanilla bard songs um what else is in there um 60 odd new custom names so he has this custom name system which up until now has only been available on pc uh but i um uh so i'm adding 60 new names to that and i'm expanding it so it's available on xbox as well as pc so you'll now be able to request names through dialogue i would rather tell him your name through dialogue rather than just through the mcm how it was before so you'll be able to get it on xbox um, I added lots more general world commentary as well on all sorts of little things, things like the standing stones, um, a little bit, a couple of more things to say on Solstheim and in a couple of villages. Um, it's generally just sort of all the stuff. Um, and there's a few surprises in there too. But, um, yeah. Uh, it's about 1300 new lines of dialogue at the moment. So we were on 3,000 lines of dialogue in version 1.5.0, and now in version 1.6.0 we're on about 4,300 at my last count. I'm not sure how many it will be by the time I'm finished. I'm thinking around 4,500 might be where we end up. Something like that. I'll have to see. So yeah, it's about half as big again as the previous version of Lucian. But as I say, it's lots of itty bitty stuff, so I can't really say it's not really about one specific thing. It's just everything generally more. M O A R, just more. Yes. Lucian Plus. Oh, I've copied the script again by accident. Oh, yes. And bug fixes. He won't bother you with that philosophy line nearly so much anymore. So don't worry about that. I like to think of philosophy as a way of conclusively resolving the big questions in life. Or is it? Discuss. Yeah, that line is being squashed. What do you mean, does that include Lucian's personal quest? Um, I've revamped it ever so slightly. There's a little bit more dialogue in the personal quest now, but nothing major, nothing to get, uh, nothing to get excited about necessarily. Um, but there's, there's a bit more in that personal quest. It's been bolstered. Oh, they say of the philosophy where the Parthenon is. What do they say of the philosophy where the Parthenon is? What do they say? What do they say? What do they say? He's gonna say, he's gonna say, he's gonna say, he's gonna say that it has no repetitive lines. <laughs> That's what they say of the philosophy where the Flavius is. Right, what else are we gonna say then rather than uh, bliss bugs? What's next? What's next? Flame stalks. Tried nibbling a flame stalk. They're spicy. <laughs> Th 
tried nibbling a flame stalk. They're spicy. In general, why why do we need a special channel just for cats? I want to see the cats in in. I always want to see the cats. Don't need to file them away into a special section so some people don't get to see them. Just maximum cat. Now, it's the lag there of it copying the line is definitely it trying to create a script. Uh, which is obviously confused from the fact that I deleted this, this script. No, the, the, the arson meme comes from way back to when I first started streaming back in February. For some reason, it just sort of came out of nowhere, really. Kind of every possible variation of the joke has been done by this stage, but alas, the community never forgets. If you, uh, if you go onto my VOD channel and check out the original Octavius streams, uh, which are the very first videos on my VOD channel, you will see the birth of the meme in person. You will see it be created. If you rewatch those early ones, you'll see where all these things come from. Should you be so fascinated in the, uh, the uh, Joseph Russell UK channel early lore, you will find these rules being established. These green butterfly wings are positively iridescent. See you, Yami! Must see if I can preserve one to take back home I know a lepidopterist is that it? lepidopterist? is that what you call a butterfly collector? lepidopterist yes who'd be fascinated What is my favourite video game mod of all time? Well, that's a very difficult question. Um... <sighs> favourite mod of all time. Okay. I, I might not be able to say the 
Um, I might be able to say, not, might, might, might not be able to necessarily determine definitively my favourite mod of all time, but one of my favourites is for Battle for Middle-Earth. The Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle-Earth 2. There is a mod called the Edane, which uh, is a massive total overhaul thing that adds loads of extra units and completely revitalises the game, and it's brilliant. It was originally in German, but they've since released it in English. And uh, that was one of the first mods that I ever got. I think. Or maybe before that it was Battle for Middle-Earth 2 Extended Edition. But yeah, it was Battle for Middle-Earth that first got me into modding, I think. I think. Or maybe it was Skyrim. It's hard to remember which one came first. But that was very early days. Right, so where do we get to? We did the green butterfly rings. And we also need something about red butterfly wings. No, purple ones. Not red, they're purple. What similarities does the Dragonborn and Dragons have? The Dragonborn is a man or woman or whatever born with the soul of a dragon. It's a person born with the soul of a dragon is the gist of it. Or so the legend goes. There's a whole much further discussion of it on the uh, on UESP. Uh, and on the, on the Elder Scrolls wiki if you want to go into all the lore of it. And Lucian will tell you about it at great length. Um, if you, uh, if you get into, if you do the quest and then go and talk to him. Oh, he's, I've accidentally had him say that last line with disgust, obviously because of the flame stalk thing. We don't want the disgust emotion on him there. We want maybe just a little bit of faint happiness. I mean, many Dragonborns hoard treasure, according to people's playthroughs. You know, it's very common that one loots quite a lot. I've never seen butterfly wings as purple as these. Very pretty. And that can be for the purple butterfly wings. Do da da da. Right, rot scale. Oh, of course, right, yes, so these rot scale screaming more and thorn hook are the ones that are in the base game but only placed by the Saints and Seducers plugin, which says, asks the question, do I put the comments in this, or do I leave them in the main mod? Because, of course, ah, But if they're in the main mod, then that'll mean any other mods that place these in the world, or if players add them with their with the console, then Lucy will still comment on them. Which is good, if I put it in the main mod. However, I will have to go in and manually remove them when I backport to Legendary Edition, which is bad. That'll be a pain. So, bearing in mind I can't think of any mods off the top of my head which do place these items in the world, and it's unlikely the player would choose to add these specific ingredients with the console, then it makes sense therefore I think to put my commentary for them in this plugin, which will make my life a lot easier when I'm backporting. There we go, solved it. So, rot scale. Rot scale, rot scale, rot scale. What's it going to be called? Oh, it's not going to be called CCBG, is it? It's going to be called something else now. Oh, it's CCBGS root rot scale ingredient. CC BGS root rot scale ingredient. There we go. Greater than one. It's 
rot scale smells foul. That's all he needs to say, really. Now, I never like to use too much of the disgust emotion because it's a very pronounced thing. Disgust and puzzled are both very, uh, very strong on the characters' faces and they look odd if you put too much of them. Da -da -da -da. I don't think anyone's ever going to hear these lines. Because who's going to give Lucian bliss bugs, flame stalks, butterfly wings... And rot scales. Well, I guess if they just offload loot to him for him to carry all this stuff, maybe. Or maybe if they're looking for his specific commentary. I don't know. There's not much reason to do it. Hey, Churchy Dragon. Welcome to the stream. Oh no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, double back. My flame stalk line. I should really capitalize flame stalk. But of course, because he's talking like this, because he just nibbled it. I might try. Just. Just tried nibbling a flame stalk. Ah, they're spicy. Now, should I capitalize stalk? Do you think? Because I would capitalize the S. I think, yes, I should capitalise the TH. Go on, then. I don't think there's any particular rule for that. Well, you do get unique lines if you do do that, Churchy Dragon. If he, if he is carrying enough stuff, he will complain about it. So screaming more. Yeah, he says, load me up. Uh, that's what he'll say if he has room in his inventory. He'll say, load me up. And if his inventory is pretty full, he'll have a chance of singing, Oh, there once was a pack horse named Lucian Flavius. And he'll complain about various amounts of items you've given him, like firewood or skulls or giant's toes, I think. Not sure about that last one, whether that's something I've added new in the new update or whether that was in the old version. Don't know. But yeah. Screaming more stuff is very strange. Just holding it makes me feel oddly uncomfortable. Bizarre. If you give him human hearts, I don't think I've recorded any lines for human hearts. I'm sure he thinks that's a hilarious joke. A singular bee. Thornhook. Observation. 
getting thorn hooks stuck in your like under your fingernails is most uncomfortable conclusion be more careful rummaging through pockets oh you made them flower crowns very cute what's today's beverage it's old jamaica ginger beer light love a bit of ginger beer Uh, but I don't want screaming more. I want thorn hook. Bum bum bum. What are you doing up there, tiny Lucian? Down you come. Hey, yellow ego cat. Today we're still working on the Saints and Seducers plugin. Hope you're doing well. Right. Nothing about the scrolls. Mystic Venom. That you get from the Elytra. So let's add a line about that. That would have been a disaster, Game of Victor. Well done avoiding that. So I'm looking for Mystic Venom. Now, is that an ingredient? No. That is a poison. Is that on the list? No. It's an ingestible? Consumable? What do you call it? Potion? What's the word? Uh, it's not a misc item. Food? Ingestible. There we go. Mystic Venom. And it's just called Mystic Venom. I could have guessed that myself. Hydrate. He do the sip. Mystic Venom. Mystic Venom. Mystic Venom. Mystic Venom. Mystic Venom. Mystic Venom. But there we go. Excuse me, Tiny Lucian. Just let go of my mouse. Thanks, buddy. This elytra, elite, elite, elytra venom. It's potent stuff. Must be careful not to get any on my skin. go what's next on the list soul tomato i love this one it's just a random thing that you can find at kinthal's camp it's a soul gem but it's a tomato Oh no, I want this one. Incredible. A soul gem, a tomato, that's also somehow a soul gem. How? Why? Mm -hmm. 
so profoundly baffling. I love it. Soul gem. And what's this going to be called? Is it just going to be called Soul Tomato? Oh, are they also in Oblivion? Soul Tomato. Or. Soul Tomato filled. And then also for the player, I think. And I think I'm going to flag this one with say once. So he's not repeatedly baffled by it. Right. Bliss bug in a jar, green butterfly in a jar, purple butterfly in a jar, and Sheogorath shaped amber. And you can find them scattered around the place. There's one in Stony Creek Cave. There's a green butterfly in a jar in Solitude Sewers. There's a purple one in the Blue Palace. Soul Salsa sounds delicious. Or is that like a dance that you do to soul music? It's like a salsa, but it's kind of soul. I can't really mix soul and salsa music very well. But yeah, right. Um... <laughs> don't really know what to do about these uh these jars bugs in jars without it becoming repetitive a bliss bug in a jar a green butterfly in a jar and a purple butterfly in a jar if you dipped a grilled cheese sandwich in soup made from soul salsa does it become a soul sandwich maybe or if you made a sandwich with, with soul tomatoes in it, that would be a soul sandwich as well. Do soul tomatoes work like soul gems? Yes, they do. They're soul gems, but they're tomatoes. Like, what a brilliant idea, because you can both use it to contain the souls of the dead and as delicious snack. Win-win. Nutritious too, one of your five a day. Of your non dragon enemies, yes, exactly. Exact Mondo. I wonder who put this bliss bug in a jar. He seems quite happy in there. Is devouring souls nutritious? You'd have to ask the dragonborn. Can the soul tomato hold black souls or is it just white souls? No idea. Look it up. Je ne, je ne sais pas. Right, I think we'll do the last of these bugs in jars and then we'll probably end the stream for the day. Um, because I have other things to get on with. But what is it called? It's a misc item. Done unique bliss bug in jar. Da 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 da
Oh, tequila. I could spend hours watching this little purple butterfly flap its wings. There we go. Oh, and I don't want to say once flags on these. Uh, that one I do, but the other ones can be just random. See, I love having all these extra comments to add to the random stack, you know. Just having this extra variety in there makes me really happy. Just giving him more and more stuff to stay. Because every time I add something like this, it means there's that bit less repetition in the game. And that makes him feel that bit more real. What do dragon souls taste like? Do you taste anything at all? Lucy and Flavius asking the important questions. That sounds familiar, a singular bee. Uh, of course, I need to make sure I give that the right condition check. They taste like peanut butter, do they? Oh, I did purple butterfly. Okay, good. So now I just want green butterfly. Inigo says dragon souls aren't healthy. But what does he know? He's never tried one. I wonder what this little green butterfly thinks of his glass home. I hope he likes it. Maybe we should get him some furniture. Inigo is a good friend, but not necessarily a good nutritionist. This is true. He has no qualifications in nutrition. Right, there we go. That's a bunch of lines. So next time we can carry on and do the Sheogorath shaped amber, which we'll have to have a few lines about, I think. And a bunch of stuff about enemy, we'll do some enemy comments, and then look into, in the meantime, I'll look into the books and see whether there's a way I can implement the, uh, the book reading stuff. See if I can have him read a couple of these. Blessings of Sheogorath and Saints and Seducers. Or maybe Heretical Thoughts. What's Heretical Thoughts? Yeah, there's another book. See if there's a way I can do that. Have to figure it out. Okay, right. I think I'm probably going to end the stream there. So, thank you all so much for watching. As ever, this has been a lot of fun. I will be back on Saturday to carry on my Skyrim playthrough live. Uh, if you've not tried that before, I'm, I'm uh, playing as a sneaky thief character called Dave, who speaks like this. And it's a lot of fun and very silly. So do tune into that for Skyrim shenanigans if you fancy. Otherwise, uh, also Monday, Multiplayer Monday stuff going on. Uh, playing multiplayer games then. And back on Thursday for the next modding workshop. We do this every Thursday. So do tune in every week if you want to see this sort of vaguely creative nonsense. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are. Stay marvellous. Good luck with the snow, those of you who are dealing with all that. Hope your power behaves. And yeah. See you all again soon. Bye-bye.